Right, this is 40 meters, uh, 7020, where, where I tend to operate quite a bit. And this is down. This is what it is fairly normally. It's not very, not very busy at the moment. It's uh, 16:50 hours on March the uh, 25th. Right, that's just to demonstrate. Get that on frequency so I don't cause any interference to anyone. I don't think I'm going to cause any bother to that chap. I'm just going to um, so that's the band. That is the band um, as is before I transmit and the interference source will wake up as soon as I um, go into uh, transmission mode. I'm just going to tune up on low power. There we have it. Yeah, there it is. Now this frequency, uh, the frequency the main frequency is interesting here is that um, the main frequency is just below where where I I am and I can get rid of the um, the tone by um, switching in the auto knot but I'll put the power up to ready to uh, transmit at full power it didn't come up uh, particularly strongly there but I'll put it up the sort of power levels. This is around about 70 watts. There we are. I'm running the rig on battery at the moment, so I'm going to have to uh, put it back onto the thing. It's not the the offending unit, whatever it is, is not staying up for very long. So that's rather interesting, isn't it? Let's see if I can uh, just just the level down, and you can see the uh, various spot transmissions from this uh, device, and the it always wakes up and actually transmits the most powerful signal on the frequency I'm on, or just about. Uh, and uh, the other um, transmissions are slightly lower in power and when the thing is working and carrying data uh, the, um, the, the gaps in between, speaking crudely, gaps in between the micro frequencies are filled with um, data which makes me think it's, it is some form of um, data transmission uh, sort of almost spread spectrum. I, I don't really know. I'd be very interested to know if anyone can help me on this. Uh, I'll just put it to um, just put it to right. Let's bring it up again. There it is. That's classic. You can see the there's an amateur transmission going on there, and uh, these are the fending transmission. The get in between here and here, when it's working, there's data, uh, data transmitted that's gone. Now, sometimes uh, when I, I'm, tr I'm working, the this unit, wherever it is, whatever it is, can stay on for quite a long time, but the lower power uh, the transmission, the shorter the time it comes up. And this usually appears on um, 40 meters, 7 megs, or um, 30 meters, 10 megs, and uh, you see um, a standard amateur transmission there, CW, and there, and there, and again, I'll just put the transmitter. It be running. Let's have a look. Um, about 13 watts. About 13 watts. I'll just um, give a brief tune up here, and you see how it triggers this unit. There it is. And then it'll 
slowly wind itself down. Now this thing is obviously um, working over the um, whole of the amateur band because uh, I can get it to do this from um, 7 megs basically right up to uh, the top of the band at um, 7 7.099 uh, the whole of the band so it's a very interesting um, problem and I'll be very interested to hear from other radio amateurs uh, as to what they think it might be